John Box, Senior Vice President of Education for J Worldwide, or more commonly uh, referred to as Junior Achievement. Uh, and uh, just a little bit about Junior Achievement for those of you who may have heard of it but uh, don't know a lot about it. Uh, junior Achievement uh, was launched in 1919, which falls somewhere in between Ronald Reagan's birth date and Kathy Ashmore's amazing run in terms of promoting entrepreneurship education in the United States. So, uh, so we've been around for 90 plus years and uh, have learned a lot in that time and I'm going to share a couple of, uh, of things that we've learned in, in a moment. A junior Achievement uh, provides K-12 to programming. So our niche is, uh, is in the kindergarten through 12th grade uh, realm. Uh, our programming focuses primarily on entrepreneurship, work readiness, and financial literacy, and we see a great interrelationship between all of those, uh, those three topics. Um, we offer our programs in 123 countries uh, around the world and reach, uh, this past year, over 9.8 million students worldwide. So, you know, taking that into account, um, you know, so what's JE Secret Sauce? And there are really four different components of what we do that, that we think are important. One is that uh, we use community members, community volunteers, business people, to actually teach our content to students in the classroom. Uh, we do that because, unfortunately, kids don't always listen to their teachers. And bringing another person in that can act as a role model, somebody that can mentor students, often gets their attention. Uh, the second thing that we do, and we've heard this uh, many times uh, today already, uh, is that we use an entrepreneurial or a, a, a um, hands-on approach uh, to, uh, to learning. So it's experiential. It's not just talking about it, it's doing it. Uh, the third is that we use a sequential curriculum, and I'm going to talk about that a little more in a second. Uh, and then finally, we, we do focus on knowledge gain, and we focus on skill development, but we also focus on attitudes and behaviors. So let me uh, circle back and talk a little bit about those last two. Uh, the whole notion of, uh, of a sequential curriculum. Um, the content that, that you teach, and this I hope is applicable to anybody that's providing at least K-12 program, uh, programming, but probably beyond that as well, uh, that the content you teach has to be relevant to the kids that, that you're teaching. That's a uh, no-brainer. Uh, and what we've learned over the years is that the, the program needs to be sequ sequential in the sense that it's never too early to start teaching young people these skills. So uh, as I've taught our kindergarten program, I love kindergarten because the kids come up and they grab you by the, by the ankles, you know, when you're done, they don't want you to leave. Um, but, you know, we start teaching young people about entrepreneurship in, the ki in kindergarten. You know, they learn about, you know, what a business is. And then each year subsequent to that, we have an approach called the spiral, spiraling curriculum. So we reintroduce the same concepts year after year after year, but at a developmentally appropriate level. So obviously, high school level, you're going to be a little more sophisticated uh, than you are at the kindergarten level. Um, but one of the, I think one of the factors that, that a lot of people overlook and something that, that I would recommend to anybody that's providing programming is that you need to look back and you need to ask the students, is, it, is this meaningful to you? Is this relevant? Is this engaging? Is this turning you on? Is this making you think differently than you did before? So that the whole notion of whatever curriculum, whatever grade level, uh, making sure that it, it's sequential, that one builds on the other, and they actually loop back and, uh, and listen to your customers. Uh, more importantly, though, uh, one of the things that Junior Achievement tries to do is, is teach content and teach skills, but also teach that entrepreneurial spirit. Because we know it's the, the attitudes that we change in the classroom is going to be much more lasting than the facts kids might learn uh, in, in a program. And as we've done longitudinal studies and, and retrospectively look back at, uh, at our former students, we know that, that uh, addressing those attitudes, providing in young people uh, the feeling of self-efficacy that they know they can succeed and do it, has really paid off uh, in, in the long run. Uh, so in the end, the secret sauce in anybody's program is bridging the gap between what kids are learning in the high school classroom, the elementary classroom, the college classroom, and how that applies to their to their real lives. So with that I'll pass that out.